<laughs> the perks of being tall. This is the iChess set that lets you play online and analyze online while playing on a physical board. I can see this being very useful for somebody who wants to practice their OTB chess, so over the board chess, while having nobody around them to play that is at their strength, especially if you want to practice for OTB tournaments. If you have ambitions to practice for chess tournaments, this is the type of board, if you have nobody in your surroundings that's, that is of your level, that would be ideal for you. This lets you play online while calculating on a real physical board, the best of the best. Right now, I'm gonna demonstrate this by playing a rapid game live on Lee Chess while playing entirely from my physical chess board. So we go into this iChess app, then we go into settings over here, down here, and then you go into board. You need to connect your board once your board is connected to your computer that's connected to Wi-Fi. Given by iChess themselves, I'm gonna use this little portable thing to hold my phone, which is gonna display the Lee Chess game and how much time I have left on my clock. I'm gonna go in new game and then start. Okay, here we go. Searching for a game. And now it has found the game. So uh, on Lee Chess, I'm 1520. <laughs> my opponent has played. And as you can see, the computer is telling me my opponent has played E4. And now I can respond with anything I want. Let's say I want to play the Sicilian defense. Automatically, boom, shows up. I don't even have to have Lee Chess open. It's amazing. Now my opponent has played Bishop C4, as I can see on the board. I don't even have to look at this. This is just for the time, right? So I, I see the opponent time and my time. I can play whatever I want here. I'm going to play E6. Boom, Knight F3. My opponent's playing fast. I'm gonna play d5. When I touch a piece, it tells me where I can put that piece. So either on e5 or I can take on d5. I'm gonna take on d5, boom, bishop e5 is played. <laughs> this is amazing. Knight c6, and now here's a montage. Hey, voila! You can even play on this board with any friend anywhere in the world. Hey, Chris! Hello. Where are you from? I'm Italy. <laughs> you ready to play this game? Yeah, sure. Okay. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh my god, it shows up on the app. It's so cool. I make a move and then how does it work? Just play normally. Okay, good luck. Good luck.
<laughs> Play it for the content. <laughs> Play it out for the content. I'll do it for the content. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Double check. Checkmate. Thanks for playing me. No problem. Good game. Good game. For the final part of this video, we will be giving the iChess1 chess set a review out of 30 based on three metrics. It's technology, it's usability, and it's quality. Each of those metrics will be evaluated out of 10 for a full score of 30. Let's start with technology. When I'm looking at the market overall and what other competitors are doing, nobody has done this type of technology on a foldable chess board. That is their huge advantage over their competitors. This is a very important criteria for me because I will be in Europe playing tournaments, going from country to country, and I will be needing a tool like this that I can actually travel with. So this is the perfect tool. The use of LED on this board is really, really useful and user friendly. If you're a beginner and you misplace a piece at the beginning of the game or you do an illegal move during the game, the chessboard will effortlessly tell you that you did a wrong move or an illegal move with the use of the color and will tell you to replace a piece back to its original square. This makes this type of board not open for only experts and intermediates, but for all chess players of all levels, beginner or expert. Connecting this chessboard and making it work was also very easy. It really consisted in three steps. A, you connect your Lee Chess account to the chess app. B, you connect your chess board with that pin to a source of power. And then C, you connect your chess board to your phone on the app and that's it. Then you can play. You just set out a challenge and you can play. It's crazy. However, it's important to know that this is a prototype still under development with upgrades coming every single week. For me personally, I saw more bugs in the app itself than the board, which is a really good indicator and I think the problems in the app are way easier to fix. However, on the board, I would say once in a couple games, I would have one move go wrong in which the board did not understand my move and I would have to replay it once or twice so it gets it. This is almost negligible since it's happening less than two or three percent of the time. Now, the CEO Linush told me that this app for Android is much stronger than for this app in iOS for now. In iOS, I still was not even able to play against the AI bot, which is a key feature of this that they're about to release that's very, very exciting. I believe you can for Android. As for technology, I will give it a final grade of 9.2 out of 10. What I think are bugs right now and things that, you know, are not working are only temporary and with time will be absolutely 100% perfect. Now moving on to the quality of the board and the pieces as well as the quality a bit of the tech. Now the quality of the tech is world class. It's the best I have ever seen and the quality of the board and the pieces is all wood. So that's amazing. Especially the fact that it came with a little sack, a little little gadget for you to, to put it on kind of as a backpack, which was amazing and super comfortable. More so if you're a chess nerd like me when it comes to wooden boards and pieces, I sell wooden boards and these are really good wooden boards for what it's worth for the technology that's embedded inside of them. And the pieces are also fine quality. American Staunton pieces are pieces that I would play on normally, like without the need of that technology. So just the fact that I would play on this anyway, plus it's technology that lets me play against anybody in the world on this board is really a game changer. And so for quality, I would give this a 10 out of 10. There's really no room to improve from here. Final metric for usability. Now, usability is the client's or the customer's interaction with the product. How does that go? I found it very easy to set up, despite no instruction. There was no instruction manual and it was very easy to set up. So I have, I have no words there, but there's a big elephant in the room. I can only play on this board from Lee Chess. And as you know, I'm a big, big supporter and player on chess.com. All my games ever have always been on chess.com. I have over 27,000 games in over 10 years on chess.com and I can't play from chess.com. Chess.com is not available on the app yet. So that is a big problem for me personally, for Lee Chess users, you guys will be very happy. 
but until they put the chess.com there, the usability does take a little hit. From there on out, there's some small bugs during the game, but that's it. There's nothing much. So I'm going to give the usability a 7 out of 10 for now. You know, if they fix the chess.com, I would just give that a 10 out of 10 right out of the get-go because, look, it's the ideal fold the board, pack it with me, travel, play, practice for tournaments, play in tournaments, and, you know, all my problems are solved. Which means that overall, this product gets a 26.2 out of 30 which means like an 87%, it's a good grade. It's a damn good grade. It's an amazing product and it's still not out yet, which is just makes it that much more amazing. Where do we go from here? We go to heaven. So I hope you enjoy this video and product review. iChess1 is killing it on and off the field. If you look at their Kickstarter campaign that just ended two weeks ago, you can see that they raised over 32,000 euros from just a 7,000 euro goal. If you want to pre-order one of these chess sets now before they're gone and more expensive, they have an ongoing campaign on Indiegogo that is available in the link in bio. And most of their stuff is 40% off of the retail price that you would pay in the real world. This is why I love working for such fire companies. As you can see, I have a different shirt on because I contacted the owner and sent him the video before, you know, I would post it online and then he gave me some updates about the product. On May 11th, iChess1 got the confirmation by Chess.com official things that they will be integrated with the Chess.com platform, which is such a W. Secondly, this board will be able to just run on its own by battery. That's right, you don't have to plug it in anymore. They will do this before they release it, right, for every product they sell they will put a battery that you have to recharge once in a while inside. This is like a game changer. Owner of iChess1 told me that the magnetic power connector will be also now a USB-C key, so it's more adaptable to all laptops. And this is all free of additional charge. In the near future, this board will be able to record your games while you're just playing it offline player versus player in person. This means that once you're done playing a game with your friend, there's going to be an automatic export of the PGN of the game that you just played. And finally, the available moves of each piece that I showed you, once you take the pawn out, it says the available moves, that's going to be optional for the advanced players. So it's really for all levels. This is exceptional. I love working for amazing brands. Finally, 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 okay, I know this is the last finally. They are coming out with AI integrated in the app that will play against you live on the board. You can choose from eight different levels to play, any time control, any increment. It's absolutely crazy. And this AI will learn how to play against you and will actually like develop like hints to particular moves just for you. Thank you so much to iChess1 for sponsoring this video and this review. See you next time. I'm just gonna go play on my iChess1 now.